Hey guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back. Um, if you're new here, my channel is normally about uh, budgeting and makeup, bu makeup budgeting and um, <laughs> what am I trying to say? I've spent so far in 2019 and the rest of the year I will um, buying other things on a, a monthly budget that don't include makeup, but Surprise of all surprises, um, I ended up getting pregnant, <laughs> and um, that's kind of made my budget a little different, and so today what I'm going to be doing is maternity clothes shopping. I am currently 16 weeks, and um, I actually went to the doctor yesterday. I have not gained any weight at all so far, but... Um, I am getting bigger and there are clothes that are kind of getting tight on me so I, I need different clothes um, so my husband and I you know planned out our budget and decided how we we're gonna do this um, we got a our tax return so we we're uh, we're setting aside a bunch of things for the baby and then also for me so um, I I'm in the market today for like jeans, leggings, shorts, because I'm due in October and I'm gonna be pretty pregnant, it's gonna be pretty hot outside. Um, and then a few shirts and maybe dresses, I don't know. I know how much I wanna spend. Um, now, I'm doing this because I'm. it's a plus size try on haul that I'm going to be doing. I'm about a size 18 in normal, normally. Um, and where I live, in Oklahoma is, um, I would say it's isolated because it's not a small town, but it's away from everybody else. And so there's no maternity clothes at all in town. I'd have to go online and I don't really want to do that because I don't know how they're going to fit. And eh. So I'm just going to, I drove into the city this morning and I'm just going to spend the whole day going to different places and trying on some clothes and so I thought I'd bring you guys along with me um, because when I was like I know I have to make a huge trip to this to the city and I don't want to waste it so I was on YouTube trying to find out who looks like me and how they fit so I thought I'd make one of my own um, in case you're ha you might have a, the need or in now or in the future you want to see how things fit and look on on me um, it's a really cold and wet day <laughs> But, you know, I, I need I, I need to do this. That's another thing that I've been doing this year. Is like, I need to, instead of buying my makeup, which I love with all my heart, buy things I need because I was going without. And this is something that I need. I cannot fit into my pants anymore. So, that's what we're going to do today. So, first stop, we are going to be at Target. <laughs> and I am going to Target. Uh, I'm going to see how their clothes fit and if I like them. I really have to pee. So, uh, let's go inside and figure that out. That's all she wrote. <laughs> yeah, this maternity section is very small for a super target. <laughs> I have some clothes. Let's go try them on. Hey, Alyssa. Alyssa. Okay, so Target was a huge bust. Um, this is a super Target, and I think I went into it with expectations that their maternity section would be larger, and it's not. It was tiny. It was absolutely oh, so small. Um, so what I ended up trying on was two shirts and a pair of shorts. I didn't even try on jeans. I didn't like the jeans that they offered. I didn't see any that I liked. So this first um, shirt I tried on, I totally forgot to even take a video. I'm standing there like an idiot thinking I'm taking a video and I'm not. Also, it was really dark in there. I tried really hard to keep the lighting up, but it didn't really work out. 
So I liked this shirt. It was very, very comfortable, but it was too big. That was a 2X. And they did not have a 1X in that size. Or I might have actually bought that shirt, but they didn't have it in the size I needed. It was super comfortable. I liked it um, quite a bit. Um, the shorts that I tried on here, I like the, the really stretchy panel that they have. Um, <clears throat> I can tell you right now, I'm not going to prefer the kind that stretch out on the sides. I'm going to want it to stretch out in the front. I really can't stand things being tight on my belly at the moment. Um, so I don't want buttons or anything like that. I just want it to fit up. And the shorts, I'm an 18 and that's what I tried on. I tried on an 18, but they were tight. Um, mostly tight around my thighs which there wasn't any room to give so on a normal pair of shorts like that I wouldn't mind but I don't know if I'm gonna get fatter on my my legs so I thought that wasn't a good idea plus the and I'm gonna have to try on more because I've never tried on maternity wear but over my belly when it went down to the back it like V'd and it showed off my underwears <laughs> so um that made me uncomfortable. I don't I don't like that. So those were a bust too. I didn't even try on the jeans I bought, bought because they weren't even stretchy. Like even though they were maternity, I was like, no. Bought I didn't buy them. The the jeans I brought with me to the changing room. And then the last shirt, the blue and white checkered, I liked that shirt. Um it was very comfortable, but the only problem with that was is that it was too tight in the arms. So it was squeezing me. Um, all the rest of the clothes I saw there, either I didn't like them or like the, they have t-shirts and stuff, but um, nothing that really, they had a couple of tanks that were cinched at the sides, but um, no t-shirts and things. And I'm like, eh. plus the, for the price that they're paying, I'm like, no. Nah. Um, or the dresses were too long. I'm, I'm only 5'3", so I have to be careful with maxi dresses most of the time. And pants, because most of the time they're way too long. So, plus, like I said, price-wise, I wasn't willing to do that if it wasn't going to fit me. Um, I think part of the problem is, is that maternity clothes are expensive anyway. But plus size maternity clothes are going to be more expensive. So, yeah. I actually am proud of myself. I walked out of Target. Out of a super Target. And I bought nothing. And I looked around for other things. I, I tend to do that when I come to the city. Because there's we don't have a Target where I live. And there's a bunch of things that they might have that I would want for later. Which I don't normally do. But on these occasions I will. I didn't buy anything. Went to Target and I didn't buy anything. Okay, I'm gonna go have some lunch and then I will let you know where we're going next, okay? All right. Okay, so I'm going to go into Old Navy, see what they've got. Um, I'm not expecting them to actually have any maternity clothes. I know that they have them online and maybe some Old Navies have them, but I don't think this one does, I don't know. So I might be back super quick, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, it's getting bright out there. So let me go in and see. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so Old Navy was a no. Um, I didn't, didn't have anything there, which doesn't surprise me. So, on to the next thing. All right. We are going to try Kohl's, see if there's anything in there. Another tiny, tiny maternity section. I like this material. Let's see. See-through. Sorry. It's see-through and I don't want to have to wear something underneath it. 
And then, these are not like this, but the material is pretty scratchy. Plus, these prices are kind of ridiculous. $18. Shorts for ants. Um, yeah, they don't carry my size in jeans. Plus, they're $50. Like I said, these maxi dresses, I'm not that tall, so they would be too long. And then, I didn't like any of these leggings. They were, again, not my size. Tiniest shorts ever. Like, I'm a little more modest than that. So, maybe when I'm ready for a nursing bra, I might come back, but as far as clothes go, all right. We're gonna try Walmart now. The Walmart I have at home didn't have any maternity clothes, so let's see if this one does. Plus, I'm in the big city, so if I go back to another Target or another Walmart, I might find what I'm looking for. This is so tough. struggle bus, man. All right, let's do this. <sighs> they had nada. So I thought, well, when I first pulled up to this <laughs> super Walmart, I was like, I don't know how, this doesn't look big enough. I don't know if they're gonna have anything. Then I walked in the door and I'm like, oh my gosh, this place is like the TARDIS. It's bigger on the inside. You would think they'd have maternity clothes, but they don't. I'm trying not to get frustrated, but I've been here for almost three hours now and I've got nothing to show for it. I don't want to go to those like maternity places because I know they're really expensive. <sighs> we'll see. This is where I struggle bus, man. All right. I'm going to go find somewhere else to go. Okay. All right, I'm at Destination Maternity. And I really didn't want to come to a maternity store because I have some fears about price and size. So uh, I'm just going to try it. We'll see. If it's too expensive or they don't have my size, I'm going to have to say no. But I could be pleasantly surprised. Let's go Okay, inside. so this is the less expensive size of the store and they have a plus size section a little more expensive than I'd want it even for the less expensive side but I'm gonna try some stuff on see if they fit so this they put these belly to bees in the dressing rooms so you can put these on and try them on with your clothes and see if they're gonna fit in a few months I think that's really cool <laughs> Also very comfortable. I would want to put something over my butt though. You know what? Let's try a shirt on. Let's try on a shirt.
okay that was a major success um they had a huge sale going on so it was called destination maternity and the way the store is set up on one side they have like a designer side so like pee in a pot i think it's called and on the other side they have i guess motherhood maternity um stuff and sorry this is itching me my hair um they had a bogo event going on as well so i ended up getting a lot i thought i was gonna walk out of there with like five items and i ended up with a huge bag full of stuff um because they also had a deal going on where if i spent 200 250 then i would get 50 off and 200 dollars was my budget for today um I added tax, so it came out to be like 225, and that was fine. And because uh, I came out there with a buttload of stuff, <laughs> I think I ended up getting uh, leggings, jeans, shorts, a couple pairs, a couple shirts, a couple tank tops, and some underwear. I think. So I'm gonna have the rest of the today is gonna be a me day. Um, I don't have to be home till dinner, so. I'm gonna go probably I don't know I might go to the mall and check out Bath and Body Works or something I don't know so I'm so glad I finally had some success today yay um, when I get home I'll show you everything I bought uh, but for now I'm gonna go have some fun Mwah. okay so this is my haul from today I ended up getting a lot of stuff. So, kind of the goodies they gave you. Oh, my finger. Um, <clears throat> so, I checked out and uh, they gave me, they ended up giving me a free bottle. This is a, I don't know, Philips Advent bottle. And I guess there's like some kind of offer inside. Looks like there's coupons or something in there. So, that was really surprisingly good and um, then they ended up giving me a whole bunch of um, coupons and stuff so this is for um, cord blood banking if you want to do that you get a free uh, water wipe sample 50% um, off shutterfly for pictures if you want uh, bye bye baby coupon thermometer coupon um, Coupons for Carter's and Oshkosh. I already had some of these from, um, where did I get those from? Oh, I got my doctor's office. And it gives you gift cards to different places. Um, you know, like nursing covers and pillows and breast pads and things like that. And then um, carriers and things. So those are really those are really good and nice and handy and sterilized dryer advanced formula maker 25% when you join the rewards. Ah, I don't know about that. Um, I also have one of these too, excuse me. <laughs> pictures for JC Penney's for baby pictures. Tiny print, I guess it's pictures as well. <laughs> Not gonna show you that. Okay, so it's 60 bucks for a little brush. And then a whole bunch of other things. And then a cupcake recipe family circle. So I have to go through those later. Really nice of them. I spent enough money. So they had a deal, like I said, going on. There's all my blankets on my bed. I sleep with like three of them. Where if you spent $200, you got $50 off. So I had to keep going back for more. I did not expect to come out with all this stuff. Um, considering that most of the things were like 25 to $40 each. So, let's start with what. Um, I ended up getting five pairs of um, maternity underwear. And those were five for 25 And this was like my last thing I needed before I went over. Um, and I got these kind. They go over the belly. And you can pull them, you can like put them over or you can um, fold them down if you want. 
Um, and I got, <laughs> all of these are 2X, by the way. Like I said, I'm a size 18, but I got these underwears in 3X because I have a humongous, ginormous backside. So, trying to find underwear that fits really hard. <laughs> but I got a bunch of those. And then I got two um, nursing spaghetti strap camis. One black and one in white. Also something I needed to get. <laughs> I was only going to get the pants. And then they were like, no, you need to spend more money. Um, like I said, 2X. And then I also got two V-necks um, that are cinched here on the side. I wanted to get more of the... Oh, ooh, i got to quit doing this. I would have gotten more of the of the t-shirts, but they were out in other colors. They were out of my size in blue, and they were out of my size in black, so couldn't get those. So I got these instead. So for my pants, I think you saw, I ended up getting these stretchy gray leggings. They're full length. They're, they're so comfortable. And I also got a pair of black capris that go down like mid calf. Those are also leggings. And then I got a pair of, I don't know if you can see that, the, <clears throat> my lighting's kind of bad, but um, anyway. Um, let's see if I can adjust that a little bit. Not really. Anyway, the, they're like jeggings, I guess you could say, which I don't ever wear them, but they were the most comfortable things ever, and I decided, heck with it, I'm going to do it. I also got two pairs of shorts, so I got a lighter pair and a darker pair, this is the darker wash, and then I got a pair of like distressed jeans. They don't go all the way down, but that's okay. I, I tried on the, um, hang on, let me, I tried on the, um, full length and I, I would have had to gone up a size and I kind of felt a little constricted so I ended up getting these. These are really good. Instead. Okay, so like I said, I did not have a lot of luck um, until I went to destination maternity and then I found the mother load. So, um, I ended up spending like 226 with tax. Got one, two, three, four, five, six bottoms and two tops and two um, nursing camis and oh, five pairs of underwear. Um, which is that's a good start. If I need, like I said, I'm getting birth in October. I think I'm gonna end up needing more tops. Um, as I get a little bigger, but, um, that is not for today. That's for later. So this is a good start. So, uh, thank you for coming along with me. Um, I know this is kind of a different from my normal content, but I thought, hey, what the heck? We'll see how it goes. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe before you leave and I'll catch you later.